man as part of a stop and search uh, operation. Uh, we've just uh, heard, according to a Western security source, this being uh, put out by the Reuters news agency, that uh, the man detained in London after the Westminster incident was known to counter-terrorism police and British intelligence before his arrest. So uh, that uh, adding to the picture that uh, police had uh, given of, of a man who was being uh, uh, arrested after a stop and uh, search operation, an ongoing operation. We can also uh, bring you now uh, uh, pictures of uh, the arrest, uh, some new pictures. This. Uh, uh, from earlier, actually, I believe, uh, of the man who was arrested uh, by police on Whitehall, uh, handcuffed, and uh, his uh, hand in some way appeared sustaining an injury that had been uh, bandaged or wrapped up in some way. We do know uh, that, uh, according to police, that man was Asian, his late 20s. He's being questioned at a South London police station. And these pictures just... Uh, now able to show you a, a clearer picture of the man who was uh, arrested at the time at around 2.22 this afternoon. As I say, in custody now at a South London police station, uh, arrested on suspicion of possession of an offensive weapon and on suspicion of the commission, preparation and instigation of acts of terrorism. So that uh, the latest according to the Metropolitan Police. You're watching BBC News. It's uh, 22 minutes past four. Crime in England and Wales has risen in almost every category, according to the latest statistics. Violent crime is up sharply by 19%. It's the final set of crime figures before the general election. And our Home Affairs correspondent, Daniel Sanford, has the details. A brutal attack outside a West Midlands pub last month by half a dozen men who are still being sought by police. It appears to have been a targeted attack using a machete. At a time when there are signs that crime is on the increase in England and Wales, particularly violent crime and crimes involving knives and guns. The number of offences recorded by police last year was up 9%. Worryingly, burglary was up 4% and vehicle crime up 8%, both crimes that had been falling for decades. The Office for National Statistics says some of the increases can be explained by changes in police record keeping. I think any rises that we're seeing now are genuine because I think those improvements stabilised a long time ago. And it's not good enough for ONS to keep on saying that they're to do with improved recording. Um, I really think they must be genuine. But one of the biggest concerns in police forces at the moment is what seems to be a clear rise in knife and gun crime. More people seem to be carrying knives and using them. More guns are being fired. Overall, violent crime was up 19% last year. Again, some of that increase can be explained by record-keeping changes, but firearms offences recorded were up 13% and knife offences were up 14%. The recent figures from hospitals suggested a dip in serious violence-related injuries. Crime expert Tom Gash told me it's probably too early to know why violence is rising, but there are some possible reasons. The speculations would focus around things that we think might be related to crime, like levels of policing numbers.